Yo, 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 homies at home, that's what's good, it's your boy RC here. Now, I know this video is completely different from the ones that I usually do, but I'm going to be talking about Survivor Series and my thoughts on Survivor Series, what I think should go, you know, what I think should happen, what shouldn't happen. Basically, I'm, I'm reading Wikipedia because it's just difficult for me to keep up with a lot of things. But, um, Survivor Series is going to take place tonight. And actually, we are a few hours away from pre-show, from the um, pre-game show of Survivor Series. This is the first Survivor Series since 97 to take place in Canada. So it's been almost 20 years since they had Survivor Series in Canada. Um, and we all know what happened at Survivor Series 97. Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart, Montreal screw job. Bret Hart left to go to WCW. Then four years later, what, four or five years later, WCW went out of business. But anyway, on to what's going on at this year's Survivor Series. Um, the main card would consist of six matches. So we know Brock Lesnar will be fighting Goldberg. Goldberg, from what I'm, um, <laughs> from what I'm reading, Goldberg was injured beforehand and that's not why I'm laughing somebody I'm talking to somebody about Survivor Series and Brock Lesnar Goldberg match I think Brock Lesnar I think Goldberg I think they'll have Goldberg win it's not right it's kind of fucked to bring Goldberg in and then make him job to Brock Lesnar you know that's kind of that's kind of messed up but um and everybody's saying that match is going to be garbage because I'm talking to you saying this match is going to be garbage you can't base it off of what happened at WrestleMania 20 I mean, everybody knew that Brock Lesnar and Goldberg were leaving after that match. You can't base it off of WrestleMania 20. Your WrestleMania 20 match was kind of okay. It wasn't great. But um, everybody said that match is going to be garbage because Brock Lesnar, now Brock Lesnar, since he's come back, he's known for being his opponents. I mean, we've seen what he did to Randy Orton at SummerSlam. Was it Summer? Yeah, it was SummerSlam, I think. We've seen what Randy Orton did to him. I mean, no, we seen what Brock Lesnar did to Randy Orton. Those forearms, those were like, that, that was like a shoot match almost. That was a shoot, basically, what he did. Those forearms to head busted Randy Orton open. It's like when Brock Lesnar wants to, he gets into that UFC mode, and that's that's not good. But, um, I think it'll be a good match. Brock Lesnar might go over on Goldberg. Goldberg might go over on Lesnar. You don't know until you actually see it. But my prediction is, and I'm good, and I'm gonna go out here and say by a long shot, I'm gonna say that Goldberg will go over on Brock Lesnar. Cause I mean, it's not right to just bring somebody in and let that and then let that person job out to Brock Lesnar. I mean, especially if it's Goldberg. If anything, Brock Lesnar has to job to Goldberg, or it might be a draw, or it might be a no contest, or whatever. And they could continue to build up on the feud and maybe have another WrestleMania match. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. Now, as far as, okay, as far as Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, not the women's. Team Raw vs. Team SmackDown I'm talking about the one with Kevin Owens, Jericho, Reigns, Strowman, Seth Rollins taking on Styles, Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, Shane McMahon, and oh, wait a minute, James Ellsworth is going to be in the match. <laughs> no, wait a minute, they just styles Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, Randy Okay, James Ellsworth is going to be their mask. I was like, thank God, because he can't be in Survivor Series match. He'll be the first one eliminated. But, um, I say Team Raw vs. Team SmackDown. I I'll say, even though I'm saying by a long shot, I know I do these, like, things by a long shot, but Braun Strowman, the way they've been building up Braun Strowman on Raw, just to probably have him job out to Shane McMahon, because we all seen the fight that happened last week on Raw with, um, Shane McMahon, Shane McMahon is crazy, first of all, that high cross body he did on Braun Strowman just taking him out of the ring, or was it a clothesline, one or two. You can't make Braun Strowman look weak, especially in a match like this. I think Braun Strowman should go over on everybody. If they want to build Braun Strowman up to be an unstoppable monster, like WCW did with Goldberg when he first came in, or even with Scott Norton, because Scott Norton was a powerhouse in WCW. And that's who Braun Strowman reminds me of. He reminds me of Scott Norton. But, um, Braun Strowman going over on at least, um, at least somebody, even if it is Randy Orton or Bray Wyatt, I say that's a good thing to do. And then probably have him taken out by AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose, and have him taken out by AJ Styles or Shane McMahon or something, you know? 
but you gotta build Braun Strowman up a little bit. You gotta have big powerhouse like that former power lifter and have him look like a complete bitch in front of everybody. That's just something you don't do, first of all. That's not how you properly build up a big six 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 seven three hundred and seventy five almost four hundred pound guy. I mean, that's just something you don't do. Now as far as Team Raw and Team SmackDown, the women's um version of it. I would say they build up Charlotte as a um as a go getter, three time women's champion within her first year in the company. Charlotte has done so much better than her brother David Flair ever could. I mean that David Flair thing was just I mean mm. but I say I say Team Raw would be my favorite like my go to choice as far as as far as like because they have a lot of strong people on there they have Charlotte they have Nia Jax and they have Sasha Banks um let's see and the Smackdown no offense to the Smackdown women no offense to the Smackdown you don't call them divas no more because the word divas is now offensive but um the Smackdown women I don't think they have what it takes to be Team Raw as far as I'm concerned. Now, everybody, everybody on Team Raw is like big and powerful and strong. I don't think you can really go over, especially like Bullet Club. Oh, you can't call them Bullet Club no more. I mean, the club. Or, well, and now I'm talking about the men's 5-on-5 five five Survivor Series match. Let me see. Carl Anderson, Luke Gallo, Cesaro. A lot of these are like strong, strong wrestlers. Let me see. I say Team Raw will go over on all the five on five like traditional Survivor Series matches. I say Team Raw will go over on Team SmackDown at least two Team Raws, one Team SmackDown. You never know. That's what I'm thinking. Oh uh, no, Brian Kendrick versus Kalisto. Kalisto's Kalisto hasn't really been built up. Kalisto just came back like a month ago. He only had like a few matches against Baron Corbin. And that was about it. I really haven't been watching SmackDown that much. I've been watching Raw every week. Um, Brian Kendrick's comeback, he's been built up as a pretty strong heel. He's like the old vet, grizzly veteran that'll do anything to get a W to get a win. So I say Brian Kendrick will go over on Kalisto. Now the Miz versus Sami Zayn. Now that's why I don't understand. Why would you have Dolph Ziggler lose to the Miz? And then uh, what I'm thinking might happen. Sami Zayn, because they've been on Raw, they've been building up Sami Zayn. As a pretty strong contender for Aaron Connell title. And what I'm thinking is Sami Zayn might win. So I'm thinking backstage politics wise. Dolph Ziggler didn't want to drop the title to Sami Zayn. That's what I'm thinking. Or they're just having um, Dolph Ziggler drop the title to Miz. The Miz pick this win up. And then... Continue feuding with either Dolph Ziggler or Sami Zayn gets into. I don't know how they're gonna do it. It's kind of confusing. It really is. But I'm thinking the Miz might go over on Sami Zayn, especially with Marisa ringside. She might cheat or use a cheating tactic to help the Miz get the win. But I'm just trying to think what would it be like from Burke. Booker's perspective, what would you do in a situation like that? But I think the Miz might go over on Sami Zayn. I, I think he might. Who knows? Because WWE is known for doing like last minute things in the quote unquote reality era now, so I don't know what's going to happen exactly. The only thing I say is we'll, we'll tune in at about an hour or so and see what happens because it's like 5 o'clock Eastern time, so. Well, 10 minutes after 5, so round 7, the event's going to start, and it's going to be over at 11, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I think, I'm really thinking the Goldberg-Brock Lesnar match is like, it's, I don't know. I really don't know how they're going to do that, because Brock Lesnar against Goldberg, hmm. Brock Lesnar against Goldberg is just going to be like, I don't know. 
I really don't know. Brock Lesnar against Goldberg is going to be something. It's going to be something. Um, I really hope they don't bring Goldberg in just to job to Brock Lesnar. They might end the match in DQ or something, and then they'll build up a feud hand towards Mania. That's what I'm thinking they'll do. Because you can't just bring somebody like Goldberg in just to job to Brock Lesnar. And especially with Goldberg, like, let me see something. Goldberg being injured. I mean, I don't know how they're going to do it or how they're going to rig him up or work it. All I know is they, mm, they can't let Goldberg just, they can't just bring Goldberg back to job him out to Brock Lesnar. They can't. They can't. That's just something you do not do. Let me see. That's just something you don't do. You don't bring Goldberg back just to job out to, um, just to job out to Brock Lesnar. You really don't. Um, let's see. A lot of people have been saying Goldberg's been injured. Goldberg. Let me see. Let me type it into Wikipedia. Goldberg injured. Why is the first thing that pops up is like injured wrestlers and injured Bret Hart? That's not what I'm looking for. Before Survivor Series. Before Survivor Series. <sighs> Suffers injury just days before Survivor Series match against this by the Inquisitor. I mean, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I don't know if a video is going to play or whatever, but, um, what I'm thinking is they'll probably end a match in DQ or something, because you can't just bring Goldberg in for one match to job to Lesnar. You can't do that. Can't do that, but those are my thoughts on Survivor Series. What do you think is going to happen? We're like a few hours away from the event. What do you think is going to happen? Remember to smash that like button. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Share. Follow me on Twitter at RC underscore reacts. Follow me on Instagram at RC reacts. Also, be sure to turn notifications on so when I first upload and post, you'll be the first ones alerted to it. Like I said, leave a comment. Tell me what you think will happen tonight at Survivor Series. Um, until next time, it's your boy RC. Sign off. Much love. Peace.